before YK Osiris would run it up due to perfect timing and before his Valentine would prove to be worth it. Before he would collab with Quando Rondo, Lil Uzi, and be spotted in the studio with Blueface. Before Osiris would have close to 2 million followers on Instagram and more than 675,000 subscribers on YouTube with over 135 million views at the time of this recording. YK Osiris is one of the most talented young singers to emerge from the social media era, and he's only 19 years old. Osiris has only been singing for a short period of time and only has a few official songs out, but he's already gaining praise as someone who could revive R&B and bring it to a new generation of kids. But before the fame, Osiris was just a kid who loved to sing for fun, posting videos onto Instagram. It was when a big account reposted one of his videos that it all changed for him. But before he signed a deal, Osiris was still planning to go to college. Can you guess what he wanted to major in? Stick around until the end of the video to find out. What's going on good people in the comments section? Shout out to everyone watching after work, at work, on their break, after school, at school, with their friends, with their family, and of course, my toilet gang. If you're new here and wondering why Michael's younger brother is on the screen, close but no blood relation. I am the LA host for this channel. My name is Jeremy Hecht, and I hope you're having one heck of a day. We've covered other artists recently like Polo G and NLE Choppa, so be sure to check those out after you finish watching this one and let us know who to cover next by hitting me up on Instagram or in the comments down below. All right, let's get into the video. Hey, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Boom! There's a whole bunch of people in this world right now that's saying it way better than me. You feel me? But everybody not chosen. YK Osiris was born Osiris Williams on September 7, 1998 in Duval County, Jacksonville, Florida. He says there's a lot of talent in his hometown, but that it's a crabs in the bucket mentality where nobody's really helping anybody besides themselves. Osiris' mom always made sure to provide for him and his six younger sisters. He also has a little brother now, but growing up around all girls, well, that turned him into a mama's boy, and he learned how to be a caretaker from a young age because of all of the responsibilities that he was given as the oldest sibling. And where you get this knowledge from, because a lot of people your age, they, they, they might not get it. But you if, like if you meet my daddy, you'll know. Okay. okay. <laughs> you know? One of the biggest things he learned from his dad growing up was that the only person stopping you is you. Although his parents were separated, he was still close with his dad, and he also became his manager. Introduce yourself. Christopher Williams, man, YKMG, Jacksonville, Florida. There you, know you go. Talking about? Osiris never drank or smoked growing up because his mom told him when he was little that liquor and weed would mess up his brain, so he was always too scared of the effects to try either of them. He was also a smart kid who did well in school, where his favorite subject was math. He says he likes to use his math skills to count his money now. But he did get into trouble doing things he wasn't supposed to be doing because he wanted some extra money in his teens. He would try to steal money from cars with his friends, but he quickly decided that he needed to take things seriously if he was ever going to reach the heights that he was dreaming of. He was singing for fun around the house, but hadn't posted anything online yet. My mind just started getting bigger. You feel me? Just starting to know that can't waste no time, you feel me? In terms of his musical inspirations, he loved Bruno Mars, Michael Jackson, and The Temptations. He started posting himself on social media singing consistently. The YK in his name stands for Young King, and he added that on for his artist name after originally posting under his first name. Osiris would post 10 to 30 second snippets of him singing covers of other artists, as well as some of his original songs. He was extremely passionate with his vocals, and the audience could feel the pain in his voice. He even had veins popping out of his neck because of how intensely he was singing each word. He kept posting on a daily basis and gaining a local group of people who saw his talent, and he gained 15k followers just off of his singing grades. And at that point, he was just waiting for the right person to see him. But he wasn't just sitting around, he would DM his work to people within the industry. I DM people five, six, eight hundred times before I got famous. He would even wait at the back door of clubs when artists were making appearances and he would show them his music and ask them for a feature. Everybody walked past him, but it's that type of ambition and hustle that is exactly what got him in the position he's at today. Shoot your shot kids because you never know who could see something in you and change your life forever. Today when kids come up to Osiris, he will always give them a chance to rap and sing, but eventually the right person saw his talent naturally. That person was Eastside Ivo, who has more than 2.6 million followers on Instagram. He DM'd Osiris and told him that he was going to repost his singing video onto his page. And from there, things blew up. After that, Osiris started getting 100,000 followers a day. My boy e, um, Ivo posted me on that one time. You know, he got like two, 2 million followers, so he posted me and 
Everybody trending after that. A lot of people just start coming for me. Then the blog site Say Cheese TV posted him, and he gained even more followers. And he had celebrities in his DMs trying to sign him. But the craziest part about all of this is that he hadn't even released an official song onto streaming platforms yet. They were all just short Instagram clips. When my page started going so far, like I started getting so many messages from celebrities and like uh, they wanted to sign me. Your and YouTube page? No, Instagram. He knew that it would keep building up curiosity and that people would want to hear the full thing. Gotta drop three songs and all of them over, all, all of them right now, Valentine's about to go plat. It's all about quantity. Dropping all music, never patient. I wanna let people hit me, okay. But after his page blew up, every label wanted to talk to him about signing a potential deal. Every label. Every label. In a game anybody that you, can think any, anybody Is that, that over uh, over 10? Over 10, any, everybody, uh, it's a lot of labels, so every label you can name, every label. Osiris got flown out to New York and signed a deal with Def Jam three days later. His dad came with him to sign the deal and helped him navigate things. And the first person he told after signing was his mother who was happy for her eldest child. Under the label, Osiris released the single Worth It to a massive reception. The song debuted at number 87 on the Billboard Hot 100 charts, and the funny thing is, he didn't even want to release it at first because he thought the song needed a feature on it. One of his dreams was to become a dancer when he was younger, and while he never could really dance, he did meet Chris Brown who tried to teach him some moves. He's also had the chance to meet Meek Mill, Drake, Future, and Young Thug, but his biggest dream is to work with Justin Bieber. Since the success, he has bought his mom a new Beamer, he's moved out to LA, and while he can be spotted rocking a couple of chains in some Louis Vuitton, he tells his fans not to spend their last dollars on material things just to flex. He'd rather invest and save his money. And now it's time for a segment I call Shoot Your Shot, where I tell the ladies out there what their chances are at getting with YK Osiris. First off, you gotta be interesting, and you have to have more than just your looks. Osiris says that if you have an ugly personality, you won't get past an initial conversation. Second, if you're only interested in him buying you things, then you also don't stand a chance. If we just start talking, and you talking about buy you some Birkin bags, and buy you some Gucci, and buy you some Louis purses, <laughs> you got a game all f***ed up. Bye-bye. <laughs> Third, you have to be humble. In a relationship, like, what's something you can't deal with? What's something like, um, hell no. Nah. Being stubborn. Okay. And, um, conceited. And finally, you have to be over 18. How old are you at? Um, I'm, I'm 16. you 16? Yeah, I sing. That's the case. So, there you have it, girls. Do you have all four things? Then shoot your shot. All right, back to the video. Osiris planned on going to college to study computer technology while continuing to work on his music but it seems like his music popped off before he even had the chance. And there's the answer to your question from earlier on in the video. On May 10th, 2017, he tweeted, what's meant to be will find its way. And for him, it truly did. If these videos show you anything, it's that you're really only one moment away from your dreams coming true. But where people get it wrong is that it's not just about one song. Luck is opportunity meets preparation. So when you get that moment, you better be ready to prove yourself. And if you've been putting in the work, then you will be. But since his come up has all happened pretty fast, that's really all I got for you. As for the rest of the story, well, we'll have to wait and see because this is before they were famous. Here are two more videos for you to check out. As always, my name is Jeremy Hecht. I hope you have one heck of a day. Dream good, live better. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. I'm losing my breath. And let me know who to cover next in the comments down below. And I will see you in another video. Peace.